I flew into San Francisco on Friday night, and the smoke hanging over that city was amazing. Turning now to domestic politics, President Trump is working to reset his relationship with Senate Republicans. The president is scheduled to discuss his legislative agenda today with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell at the White House. The meeting comes after the president's former chief strategist this weekend bashed McConnell and the Republican establishment. Juliana Goldman is at the White House. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Well, that's right. President's former advisor, Steve Bannon, declared war on the Republican establishment and Mitch McConnell, further complicating the president's efforts to work with McConnell and congressional Republicans on tax reform. I've been very excited about the president's plan. For the Senator Rand Paul right said he narrowly lost to the president during their golf outing Sunday, but he hopes Mr. Trump can score a big win on tax reform. We really, you know, need to do it, and I think he wants to, to be as big and bold as possible. The president took South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham golfing Saturday and will lunch with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell today. All outreach to make sure votes on the budget this week and later tax reform are successful. Yeah, Mitch, the donors, the donors are not happy. They've all left you. Former Chief White House strategist Steve Bannon tore into to McConnell at the season, Conservative Values Voters Summit season, this weekend. Bannon believes McConnell is responsible for President Trump's legislative failures and threatened to support primary opponents of three sitting Republicans if they don't vote to oust McConnell as leader. Nobody can run and hide on this one. These folks are coming for you. But within hours of Bannon's remarks, Mr. Trump called McConnell to discuss their legislative priorities and to invite him to today's lunch, according to a source familiar with the call. Bannon can't beat us if we're successful. If we're Senator not successful, Graham brushed off matter. Bannon's criticisms and said Leader McConnell is not the problem. Our problem is that we promised to repeal and replace Obamacare and we failed. We promised to cut taxes and we've yet to do it. If we're successful, Mitch McConnell's fine. If we're not, we're all in trouble. And over the weekend, Bannon pointed to his track record and noted his victory last month in Alabama, where his candidate, conservative Roy Moore, beat incumbent Senator Luther Strange, who was backed by McConnell and the president. Nora. All right, we'll be watching, Juliana. Thank you.